What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to tell you what got me motivated and what keeps me motivated. What's going on guys? My name is Ben Nader. I'm an entrepreneur, I run a recruiting agency, and I vlog pretty much every single day about business, entrepreneurship, finance, everything in between. If you like those topics, you should definitely smash that red subscribe button. So most of you that follow me on YouTube or if you're in my Six Figure Recruiters Facebook group know my whole story, but I'll give you a little bit of a snippet. So about four years ago, I was working in corporate America, nine to five, basically in cubicle slavery, and I decided I didn't wanna do that anymore. So I branched out on my own and completely started my own recruiting agency from scratch, built it up to a six-figure business, scaled it, started my YouTube channel, my group, and started my mentorship program where I now teach others how to do the same exact thing. Now it's a pretty obvious question that you might want to ask, how do I get motivated to do something like that and what keeps me motivated to continuously do everything I do right now? The reason I wanted to do a video about this is because I think a lot of you are probably thinking along the same lines. Maybe you're working a nine to five job or maybe you're on the brink of entrepreneurship or solopreneurship and you just want to understand motivation, how it works and what works for other people so that you can apply it to your own life. The first thing I have to say about motivation is that ultimately leaving my nine to five job had a reason, a really serious reason. I was stressed out, I was fearful, I was anxious, I was depressed. It was literally affecting my health and I basically had to leave that cubicle. Now I'm not gonna hold back, I was definitely an entrepreneur like since I was born, but at the same time, when I mixed that nine to five with my entrepreneurship tendencies, I definitely just put those two together and said, I've gotta get out of here. What I'm really trying to tell you is that you just need a compelling reason to want to start to do something new. You can't just have some follow my passion concept or I want something new idea to get motivated to start something. You have to have a true, energetic, like to your core rationale for making something move, to have some real motivation to do it. But for me, that was being able to build a business around my lifestyle. Now I wanna give you some reasons as to how I keep staying motivated because I'll tell you, it's a grind. I run a recruiting agency, I teach a recruiting mentorship program, and I have several other side ventures and it's a lot, and I shoot YouTube every single day, and I don't know if you know, but it takes about three hours to shoot, edit, and produce a YouTube video. So there's a lot on my plate, and I really need to keep motivated the entire time. For instance, one of the things that keeps me motivated day to day is having short-term and long-term goals. These goals can be pretty much whatever you want them to be. Just make them measurable. Make sure that you can actually see what you've done to measure it, to make sure you've reached the actual goal. Now, what I mean by short term is let's say you have a goal for the end of the month, but long term, I mean you have an annual goal. So something that you can accomplish by the end of 2020, right? And that might be a revenue goal. It might be a new car you wanna get. It might be something random that's completely no one knows about but it doesn't really matter just have goals and keep hitting them by having these short-term and long-term goals it allows me to taste victory on a quick basis so on a weekly basis if i really want to hit a certain number or i want to get a certain amount of clients or do something if i hit that i get really really motivated and get extremely excited about the next monday because i'm going to get really pumped up for what my motivation and goals are going to be for that week obviously the biggest one of them all is having a big annual goal and that's super motivation so having that big picture goal in mind whatever it might be is huge thinking of that big prize and thinking of what you need to do to get there will definitely keep me motivated all day long the next thing that keeps me extremely motivated is consistently being optimistic i can tell you from doing every single thing that i do in my business 
There are downturns and upturns and swings and all kinds of things, but if you remain consistently optimistic, you will always win. I'm not saying you're not gonna have losses throughout the process. I'm not saying that you're gonna have a terrible week, a terrible month, but as long as you have more wins than losses, you will stay motivated, and that's what keeps me motivated most of the time. And the deal is, what motivates me the most is to actually ensure that I win more than I lose. Another thing that keeps me personally super motivated is being extremely committed. Call this dedication, devotion, or whatever you'd like, but I call it commitment. And it's deep within you. You have to find it. You really have to rip it out of you. But you have to have some sort of serious tie to what you're doing. You have to have some genuine desire to attach yourself to everything that you are doing and put yourself all in. If you're not all in, you're all out. To me, staying motivated just means that every single day, I know that I am 100% committed to doing every single thing that I can do to be successful. And I look at it like an obligation. I look at it like when I wake up, I need to do certain things or I'm not committed. And if I'm not committed, I'm not gonna be motivated. So I have to keep that commitment. Now, another thing that constantly comes up for a lot of people, you've probably heard this, but this most definitely keeps me motivated, surrounding myself with like-minded people. So to keep myself motivated, I surround myself, even though it's virtual, with tons of people that are like-minded and generally smarter than me and at a higher level than me. This has so many benefits, it's incredible. Interacting with someone, even though it's virtual or on the phone or whatever it might be, I get so much motivation out of learning from someone that's at a higher level in recruiting from me, or just talking to someone that's like-minded in recruiting, or whatever it might be. I get motivation just out of the fact that they're talking with me about the same business, that they're telling me things that I don't know about, or whatever it might be, and it drives me inside, almost at a competitive level, to where I wanna be higher than them, or I wanna reach their level, or I just wanna be talking to people that are doing the things that I'm doing. To keep this motivation up, I make it a consistent effort every single week, if not on a daily basis, to have at least one contact or interaction with someone that's either at a higher level than me or like-minded like me, just to be able to feed off of that energy and keep my motivation up. One of the last things that keeps me continuously motivated is having a personal reward system for myself. I don't think this is lavish or crazy or anything like that. These rewards are simple, they're very basic. It's like maybe if I did a lot of activity or if I accomplished a goal or made a big placement, I'll just decide to go have a really nice dinner on a Friday night or something like that. Another reward could just be maybe taking a day off and deciding I'm not gonna work for that particular day. That might be a really good reward for me. And it's also self-healing and it's good for you. Having a reward system for myself keeps me motivated a ton because I just know that if I do something, I'm gonna allow myself to do something bigger and better and fun, right? So it's consistently something that's on my mind. I can always have it there. And if it weren't there, I would be less motivated than I would be if I had it. So listen, that is how I got motivated to start and that is how I keep myself motivated. Everyone needs to understand that you all have your own unique wants, needs, desires, and everyone's gonna be motivated by something different. Some people are motivated by a certain amount of money. Some people are motivated by just doing something passionate for themselves. Everyone has a unique scenario. Once you figure out what yours is, harness it, utilize it, make it work for you. When you do, I promise you, it'll help keep you motivated throughout your entire process and help you succeed. So hey guys, if this video was valuable to you, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a new video. Until then.